It's a trap! Yeah, become a character and join the fight for the fate of humanity. With this package, you will receive a copy of the book, and, you know, more or less, your character will also transfer to the anime. So when we turn it into a show, it will become it will become a character in the show because you'll get in this fight. So this and the thing is with this book series is this one's scheduled, you know, framed out to be about six, seven books as well. Mm-hmm. So it's your character would essentially transfer throughout the books and could last through all the books or most, depending on what's going to be the most impactful to the story. If um, I was in the book, I would want to be like the the comic relief. You know, just the guy, ah, <laughs> guys, don't take it all too seriously. And then the next mm-hmm. thing you know, I'm dead like Yamcha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you can't be Yamcha. Uh, he gets taken out by a Cyberman. I, yeah, well. He didn't even get to fight the Saiyans. That's I, like the worst. <laughs> I know. That's like, that's basically like <laughs> what I'm trying that's to That's the running here. joke. Like, uh yeah, it's like, that's just what my luck would be like. Oh, yeah, right. I'm going to fight. And then, like, I don't know, yep. I stubbed my toe on, like, a, a demon <laughs> spike or something. And then... Like, and it's poison, and, it's and you're poison. just like, no. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of my character. <laughs> there we go. No, so the cool thing is, is, is um, like I said, this book is going to last a long time. So I've actually had a lot of the backers for this have actually been kind of friends mm-hmm. and stuff. I've had a, I've had a few that are, are people from, you know, YouTube and people that have followed me on Twitter that, that were interested. Yes. Um, but like, for instance, two of my, my buddies, they're both bartenders. Mm-hmm. Now I'm in Northern Virginia, which is a heavily populated, heavily populated area. Right. And so one of my friends is the number one bartender in, one of the counties here oh, wow. and the other one is the number one bartender in the other county mm. and so since they're rival they're friends but rivals there i'm also going to make them you know friendly but rivalrous in, in awesome. the in the show um one of the or in the book and in the show you gotta get one of, the one cool of them things. a headband you gotta you huh? gotta do it <laughs> <laughs> i mean you know you do what you want i'm just like that's right. how i'm picturing like one of them's wearing a headband for whatever reason <laughs> and you know that just shows like how how like cool and awesome he is, and you know the mm-hmm. other guys like oh, I I like you, but I'll like I gotta beat you. Like you, but I hate you. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> and one of the cool things is that I that I'm kind of doing is, is as we learn about the characters, um, I've had, you know, and some of these people I've said, hey, you know, if you have a family, like let me know mm-hmm. and send me a picture, like a family photo. Because yeah. what I'm doing is like as we learn the characters, it'll be like, oh, this one guy will be like, oh, you know, I have a wife and kid back home. And mm-hmm. like he'll actually like go in his pocket and pull out like a picture that he's carrying. And it'll in, in one frame will literally be, a th- you know, the picture of, of him and his family oh, to nice. kind of give it a more personal feel for yeah. people that want to, you know, back that perk. I mean, someone would see that page and they'd be like, oh, okay, so yeah, that's like his wife and family. But, you know, to that person who actually, you know, contributes to the book and they have their real, you know, wife and and children, you know, in that, Mm -hmm. that would mean a lot to them. Exactly, exactly. And and that's one of the things, like, that's kind of who I am as a person. Like, Mm -hmm. I appreciate everybody that's that's backing me on these books and everybody that, 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 you know, wants to, take part in this and wants and has that belief in me i like to give back as much as possible mm-hmm. um and so i like you know i really appreciated you you know having me on the show and so i was like you know when you post up about the watch hours like screw this i'll just watch this all day i'll get him his hour i'll help get him his hours you know because i i I'm just that kind of person where I like to give back as much as possible. And I I try to do the same as well, which is why I noticed I, I made Indie Monday in the first place because, you know, like you, I'm a small time creator. I have my dreams of making my own sort of uh, animation uh, mm-hmm. and entertainment uh, business. Um, mm-hmm. But, you know, when you're starting on your own, you just you have to you kind of have to, like, build yourself up and then, like, you can Mm -hmm. help out uh, other people. And, you know, with uh, with the Indie Monday promotion, you know, it just started out with me kind of just helping my friends because they felt extremely self-conscious about advertising, whatever it was that they Mm -hmm. were working on. And then from then on out, it branched out and it included more and more people. And then, you know, now here you are and we're having this 
Uh, there very, we go. Yeah, this very fun conversation, and I I'm enjoying this. Like me too. I I love. I honestly, it's been ever since I like I came on New Comic Normies uh, show last, you know, like a week and a half ago, and that was the first interview I'd, I'd done, and I I I love it. I love talking to people, and uh, I love sharing what I'm doing. I love learning about what they're doing, and it's it's honestly really fascinating where this this community is yeah and and how much talent and ambition and forethought is put into a lot of these projects i i completely agree i am absolutely astounded at the amount of talent that is out there and has not been tapped by like any yeah. of these major businesses or entertainment companies yeah. or, or anything so many people you know including yourself absolutely deserve to be working for you know these these bigger studios you know the cartoon networks <laughs> um the viz uh the viz studios you know just yep. all of these places like i personally wanted to work at lucasfilm for a while okay and then it got bought by yeah Disney, and i'm just like you know what i think <laughs> like, I'm, uh, I'm good <laughs> this isn't where i parked my car <laughs> and, and uh, but you know so now i'm more like thanos where i'm like you know i have to do it myself Yep. And I figured that's the best way to go because we need new ideas. We need new stories right. uh, out there. And, um, you know, uh, both of your stories, uh, Galden reclaiming Zendara, you know, they, I, I would, I would watch both of them. Um, Thank you. you know, even though with, uh, with, with the whole demon thing, I'm like, that's not really my kind of thing. But, you know, now that you've, uh, you've talked to me more, more about it, I'm like, you know what? I, I can absolutely see where you're coming from uh, with all this. And it has an equally fascinating um, origin and lore as uh, as the other story. So um, I'm happy to see that um, it's getting there. It's 33% uh, yeah. funded. So um, we got to do what we can to help, you know, continue to, to push it forward. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I appreciate you supporting uh my shows uh as well yes um and and know. i will i will watch the every day that i'm in my truck just driving out delivering packages i've i've put it in my mind that every day i'm gonna watch six to eight hours while i'm driving to make sure that that we get you monetized because that's the goal and you're you're literally like right on that cusp yes and so anything that i can do to help out and i know a lot of your your viewers are feeling the same way yeah you know anything that we can do you know i yeah i i absolutely uh appreciate that um because shows like yours are are exactly what somebody like me needs yeah you know just to you know have that space you know yeah. we, we all go to like these 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 places like when you tried to pitch your idea to funimation you're just like give me a chance. I know right. I could prove myself. And they're just like, mm -hmm. yeah, we don't make the anime. Uh, so yeah. sorry. And, and, not, <laughs> and not many people in America do, unless you yeah. go to, um, Oh God, what's the studio that does uh, Ruby? Um, that that's uh, rooster teeth, rooster teeth. Yes. Unless yeah. like rooster teeth or something, but their, their animation style isn't really mm -hmm. what I'm into. Yeah. And I mean, that's the thing that I think, is needed the most is uninhibited ambition that and um you know you just know. you have to give people a chance because we all mm -hmm. had that one person wherever it was uh wherever we were trying to get into that took a chance on us and if we mm -hmm. did not have that person or place none of us would be where we are now and unfortunately mm -hmm. because the digital world has you know really shrunk you know, like mm -hmm. over the years, it's harder and harder to like, you know, get into these places. Yeah. So, well, that's ahead. the other thing is, yeah. is the, the ultimate amb ambition of this, this, in this vision for what these books can do for, for me and for everybody else and, and what the, the studio can do is offer something for people. So like, obviously, like I said, I talked to Vic for a while. I've mm -hmm. talked to Chuck Uber, mm -hmm. um, who did Android 17. Yes, or, I could not remember so, his name. Thank you. Yeah, for, yeah, for no. That. He did uh he did Android 17. He did uh Hie and Yu Yu Hakusho. Yeah, show. Yes. Yeah. Um Dr. Stein and uh Soul Eater. Mm -hmm. Um and all and, and so obviously the plan is 
to make these into shows. And obviously I want to have talented voice actors, but I also want to give an opportunity to people that have always wanted to do it, but don't live in Texas or are not part of that click of, you know, that inclusive click of people that can get you in. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and same thing with, with the ambition for the studio. I want to make these into shows, but I also want to be able to offer people the ability to have their comics mm-hmm. turned into shows if they want. Mm-hmm. Say, hey, cool, we can talk business where it's like a partnership deal or whatever. We talk about rights and, you know, split of profits or whatever. But we, you know, once I have an actual hired staff of animators, we can turn Comics Gate into cartoon gate you know what i mean that would be an interesting next step yeah right and that's the ultimate um vision that i have for what i'm trying to accomplish with the studio ultimately and even if you know those other creators you know they see what you're doing and they're like yeah i don't really want like my story animated by you per se you know that there's always that possibility that someone will say no you know oh yeah oh at least you took the chance is what i'm trying to say and there's just a lot of people out there who you know they um maybe they're too intimidated by the idea of like trying to pursue a dream like this because you know it doesn't pay at first um right but you know like with anything you do it over time and then eventually it could pay off but Mm -hmm. my original point being is you're taking that chance and you're yep. trying to do something mm-hmm. uh different and interesting and um you know you're just trying to show people like what you're capable of and mm-hmm. i respect the heck out of you for doing that thank you you are welcome thank you sir. i appreciate it you know i know that you know there might be comics people that aren't into having the thing a show but it'll be nice to be able to at least offer that say hey you know have you ever thought about having it on tv Mm -hmm. or something or even like like imagine the uh like i I read an article today about like the netflix effect Mm -hmm. um there was a show on netflix um oh god oh it was it was the queen's gambit and it was about this girl that played chess right and since that show came out Mm -hmm. on netflix the amount of people that have gotten into chess over the last month was like something like an 800% increase. Wow. And so to be able to offer people like, Hey, you know, you, you have this book, you have the story. It seems cool. If you want to have it, you know, animated, that's something that we could do for you mm-hmm. and, you know, give you that chance to get into Netflix. Cause you know, with that comes, you know, posters, toys, yeah. Um, you know, other different avenues and ever, other different income streams that could take somebody's vision for a comic to a whole nother level. Absolutely, yes. All right. Well, um, I guess that pretty much wraps uh, everything up. Um, is there anything else you would like to to add before we uh, we go ahead and uh, bring this to a conclusion? No, I, I just want to thank you so much for having me on. Uh, everybody watching the stream, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to. Uh, show you my stories and what i'm trying to do that's right so that is uh mr brandon flynn everybody thank you brandon for for coming on you'll never come back again no <laughs> oh no <laughs> that's it you're one and done then again that's it i'm banned yeah oh, no but if you talk to john hervey i'm sure he'll be like wait what but i came back <laughs> right right I, I love john john's an awesome guy he's yes, uh, he, he actually ended up back in the backing um Galden, he you know he saw it on a different stream and, and he really liked the book and um you know i've tried to shout out his project magnas you know yeah. when i can and he's been you know he's a really good dude oh. he's been all over the place with youtube all over the place yeah he's definitely making the rounds and, and i hope you'll be able to do that too the more shows yes. you go on and the more opportunities you get to talk about your books uh yep. you will definitely get your books funded so um okay. I wish you the best of luck, and I am, I am especially. I'm playing favorites here. Where's my mouse? Mm-hmm. There's my mouse. Favorite I'm especially claiming Zendara. Zendara. <laughs> like <laughs> there we go. I I want this story like right now. And why isn't this <laughs> one getting like Galdit? Look, no offense. Uh, I want more funding over here. <laughs> <laughs> So everybody, that's it, it is surprising. Yeah. I l- really thought, I really thought that reclaiming Zendara was gonna get. Yeah. Uh, I thought it would get more funding than Galden, but also with 
so with Reclaiming Zendara, I have five backers. One of them chose to become a character. Nice. Um, and the other one, uh, what is it, like three of them are regular books. One of them is a digital. Mm-hmm. Um, but five backers total. Yeah. Um, whereas Galden has 16. Um, but a, the primary sale, of, you know, with the books there is the becoming a character perk because a lot of people really like having that, uh, yeah. you know, being in, injected into the story. You know, I, I don't know. I guess it must be just, you know, the, this whole, the, the lore of what you have going mm-hmm. on must really speak to uh, uh, a lot of people, getting them uh, very invested in the idea. Plus, the art looks really great. Yeah. You know, I, I cannot stress enough how, like, I really enjoy the art in, in both of these books. Yep. But I do think Galden's art looks a little better. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, that's probably what is attracting people probably a lot more. Um, right. Plus the story itself is yeah. really good, too. Yep. Galden's art style is a little bit more what you see in in a um, in an American comic, I think, as far as, mm-hmm. like, the way that the, the blacks and whites. And it really does speak to this doom and gloom post-apocalyptic story to have the, you know, black, whites, and the grays the way they are. Yeah. Um, but with Reclaiming Zendara... Mm-hmm. Um, Honestly, I the guy that I hired for this, um, I could not be happier with this. Person. Like, I literally just say, "This is what I look for, need yeah. in the page. This is what I need." I tell him, like, and just everything that I've envisioned. Like, he's got it. It's great. Oh, he's no, like, oh, yeah. here's the line work. Here's the line work. What do you think? I'm like, I, I, absolutely, are you able to read yeah. my mind or something? Like, how did you like? <laughs> and it's it's great when you have an artist relationship uh, like that, an artist writer uh, relationship. I, I have that with a with a few of my friends too who who work with me, and when it works, it really works. So it really, really does. But I I do like the art here. I love this story. Thank I love you. this big pirate dude too. I want to know more <laughs> about him. He looks like he's a fighter from like Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> but uh, yeah. That that looks great. Thank all, you. All right, so yep, that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. So uh, Brandon, uh, thanks again uh, for coming Thank on you. and for allowing me to to chat with you. Everybody watching in the stream, go back both of these books. I'll put the links to the books in the description of the well in the stream chat, of course. And um, I hope they support you. So um, thank you. I'm yeah. you too. All right, so you take care, sir. Thank you so much. You too, Mr. Travel. See you later. See ya. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps the channel out a lot. Leave a comment about what you thought of the video. Check out the merch store. Get your hands on these amazing designs from some great artists. Buy them as t-shirts, art prints, and more. Become a Coffee Knight and support my channel for only $3 a month on my coffee page. Get exclusive updates about upcoming videos and projects. Special thanks to all of my Coffee Knights currently supporting me like Lori Burkett, Caden Potasnik, James from Monster Finger Games, Danny Plays, Meg Kearns, Dan Resco, Lauren Nix, and Michiko Hano. Visit the It's a Trap Productions website to watch my past and upcoming animated projects. And it's the only place to read my original comic book project, West Perugia. The link to everything mentioned is in the description of this video.